Welcome back to my channel and today's video is how I got this flawless foundation full coverage look. And if you guys are interested on how I got this full coverage foundation skin like that look, continue watching this video. <laughs> washed my face and the first thing you always want to do before applying makeup or anything on your face is to make sure your face is clean because a clean face can help prevent the spread of bacteria to your cosmetics like your eyeshadows your bl your brushes um, your stick foundations like anything uh, is going to help prevent the spread of bacteria. So always wash your face before using um, any beauty products. And also it's going to help um, put like a super clean canvas for your foundation so there won't be any oils or anything on it. So the first thing you always want to do before putting foundation on is to do some skincare. Um, the skincare that I'm going to do is super basic. I'm going to get the Mario Badescu uh, Skin Spray Toner, also my number one setting spray in the whole entire world. It's like literally the best thing. Moisturizer, of course. You can use any type of moisturizer, but make sure it's like a super light moisturizer, not like a super heavy creamy moisturizer. Um, avoid hyaluronic acid. Like avoid those because it's way too uh, it's way too heavy for foundation. So just use a super daytime moisturizer with SPF or anything you want. And if you also have acne prone skin and before you do your foundation, use some Zap Z, aka benzoyl peroxide. Um, it's going to help kill any acne causing bacteria. Um, all day while wearing foundation. So I sprayed some toner on my skin and I'm just going to rub it in. So I do have some irritation on my eyelids due to me rubbing my eyes last night and it was irritating my skin. So don't mind that. So now after the toner dried, I'm going to go in with some zap zit. I'm going to apply like a little bit to each cheek. The four areas of my face, the forehead, left, right, cheek, and my chin, and I'm just going to rub that in. And benzoyl peroxide does dry your skin, so if you do have dry skin and acne prone skin, just use a little bit, and use a really good daytime moisturizer, just make sure it's not too heavy. And when you do apply moisturizer, allow it to dry for like five to 10 minutes. Let the benzoyl peroxide dry for a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. This is from Clean and Clear. It's the dual action. Perfect for acne prone skin. I'm going to take one pump on my hand and just apply this everywhere. And moisturizer is important if you want full coverage, natural looking skin because how are you gonna have a dried ass face and expect your foundation to look natural if your face look hella dry. Of course it's gonna get crusty and dusty. And if you do have oily skin, make sure you use a oil free moisturizer. Um, so that way it doesn't cost any more oil to your skin or put any more oil on your skin throughout the whole entire day. And allow the moisturizer to sit until it's dry. I let my moisturizer fully sit until it was dry. And now it's also very important to prime your face. Um, if you have very porous skin, I prefer using a professional primer. It's going to help um, hide some of those pores from your foundation going in and making it look extremely obvious. So it's always good to use a pore refining primer. Um, this is from Benefit. Uh, this is the 1.5 ounces. Also, the 44 milliliters. I think I said that right. But anywho, um, I know other brands that have the same primer that helps minimize the pores. ELF recently came out with one. Depending on your skin, if you have a lot of pores, like I do, I use quite a lot. <laughs> I use about this much. Dot this where 
I have pores. So I actually use two foundations to do a full coverage look. I use the NYX Total Coverage. This is in a dropper bottle. Like this right here. And my second foundation, I use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. And this is literally like my favorite foundation. It's it's full coverage and it has SPF. And I'm that type of person who forgets to wear SPF until I go out, like go out into the center and I'm just like, holy shit, I forgot to wear SPF. Like, super important. So with the to NYX Total Control, I shake it up first. Make sure you always shake up your foundation because sometimes because sometimes the color pigments can line up on the top. So you wanna you wanna shake that first so all the colors could blend in together. I'm going to take four drops on each side. NYX says one drop equals light coverage, two to three drops equals medium, full plus more equals full coverage. But it's not really full coverage, honey. So, I don't know. Like, I like this foundation, but at the same time, I don't like it. Like, it gives me mixed feelings about this foundation. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender from Precision Beauty. Uh, Cod foundation sponges is literally like nine dollars at Walmart super affordable and it works literally the best so make sure your beauty sponge is damp so that way it doesn't really absorb your foundation that much obviously you should know that by now and then I'm just going to blend this out everywhere <laughs> And do not forget to bring the foundation down to your double chin because you don't want like a two-tone face. <laughs> you don't want right here to look flawless and right here to look like bitch the fuck happened here, what went wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I am in the color 23 from Bare Minerals and in the color Golden by NYX. I'm going to apply one pump to each cheek. And then half a pump on my forehead and the rest that's on the pump right here to my chin. And then going to blend it out. as possible because it's going to minimize the chances of creasing on any fine lines so make sure you keep your face as still as possible now that our foundation is blend out let's apply some concealer and some cream contour so the concealer that I'm going to be using today is the color pop the color pop no filter Concealer is literally the best concealer I've ever tried and I'm just going to apply this right by my nose and Drag it under my eyes just like that and then the bridge of my nose and One line on my forehead <laughs> and one line on my chin Because this shit blends out so good is it'll drive you crazy on how good it blends out like Come on, color pop, color pop, like. So with this concealer, I'm just going to focus it under my eyes. I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to bring it out to this area because I want my skin to look thin. And if you bring your highlighter, I meant your concealer all the way out here, it's going to give you a wide fuck look. And honey, we don't want that. That's the whole point of trying to look skinny, contour. 
and I'm going to use them on my eyes as a eyeshadow primer. After I'm done using the Color Pop, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Age Instant Age Rewind. I am in the color medium for the Maybelline and for color pop I'm in the color medium as well. I'm going to just apply a line under my eyes and we just gonna blend that out. So for contour I'm going to take my Anastasia cream contour palette. I will be using the colors cinnamon and chocolate right here on a flat brush like this one. And I'm just going to take a little bit right here and just carve these cheeks. I'm just going to take the same beauty blender but on this side right here and blend it out. So now that we have our contour finished, I will be using some setting powder. I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun in the color Naturally Neutral and Maybelline Fit Me New York in the color 30. Um, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me all over my face and for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun. I will bake a little bit under my eyes. I don't usually like baking. So now I'm going to be putting some setting powder all over my face. And while using setting powder, make sure you keep your face as still as possible. So that way it doesn't let your foundation crease. Make sure that the powder absorbs all the water, the liquids in the foundation and makes it dry. And when doing setting powder, make sure you use a stippling motion to apply the powder because if you rub it, the powder in, it's going to pick up some foundation and we don't want that to happen. The first time doing powdering your face, you want to use stippling motions and then after you can rub it in. You can carve out your cheekbones, I meant carve out this area with some setting powder. And if you guys don't know how, I will show you a quick demonstration. I don't really do that because, like I said, I don't like baking. I'm going in with my Cody Airspun. Um, while I let the powder set, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I will be right back. So I'm back, I did my eyebrows. I just did some quick filling, nothing major like how I used to. All I did was I just sweeped my baking away right here and under my eyes. So now we can apply highlighter. Um, the highlighter that I'll be using is by J Cat Beauty. Um, I bought this at the NYX store at my mall. It was like literally like how much? <laughs> when applying highlighter on your nose, if your nose it points down like the tip right here, if it points down, don't apply it there. Apply it somewhere where it's high pointed. Because if you apply your highlighter right at the tip of your nose and your nose is like going down, it's going to look very long and ugly. And then I will be applying some on top of my brows all over to my forehead. Like for $9 for this highlighter, like, bitch, come on, really? So this is the end of this video. I do hope you guys like how my foundation came out, and, oh girl, girl, I forgot the most important thing. We need some setting spray. <sighs> um, Setting spray is going to help blend the powder in with your skin so it doesn't look super dry. And when doing highlighter, I meant using setting spray, you want to keep your face as still as possible or else your makeup is going to crease. Stop the track, let me stay fast. I told you give me a minute and I'll be right back. And that is how.
now you get amazing full coverage skin look like foundation hot tea do you see that y'all love it love it that is how you guys get skin like foundations and this is the final look for my foundation and i usually do this every time uh it looks kind of whatever right now but in like a couple of minutes, like in 30 minutes, it's going to look so good because that's when the oils in your face comes out and it just gives your face a super natural look. Okay, so yeah, if you guys do like this video, please like and subscribe and do not forget to comment.